everyone and um, thank you for joining me today and um, it's a beautiful day today the sun is out and um, I've had to close the blind so I hope the lighting's fine Um honestly I was getting blinded you know so I've had to close it like blinded by the light <laughs> but I'm not complaining because I love the sun it's very blustery I've got little pittance washing on the line oh and it looks so cute honestly it takes me back it really does if you haven't been to the channel before my name's Elaine um, I'm a lifestyle channel and I upload videos on anything to do with lifestyle the home beauty fashion I do try-ons you know I do some travel as well I do a, a, a bit of everything on the channel so I hope that there's something here that interests you if you do uh, get to the end of the video and you do like it I would love to have you subscribe to my channel so please feel free to click the subscribe button and if you click the notification bell as well you'll be reminded next time I upload Um, I do see that quite a lot of people um do search for silver moonlight for my videos uh, you don't have to do that guys you don't have to search for my name if you click the subscribe button and the notification bell it'll just come up automatically that um i've got a video live you know so um yeah if you just click the subscribe button and the notification bell you won't have to search for my name but today guys i'm here with a haul and it's just where i've been picking up um in the last sort of week um week and a half mainly from home bargains but I do have a couple of things that um, I went to Ikea for which I, I didn't get at the time which was in the last vlog and um, they have got them now so um, I'll start off by showing you them and then we'll go to home bargains and um, they're all like really affordable things you know if it's um, they're, they're not like mega expensive in any way and um, I picked up this shelf this is the lack shelf it's called I forgot to show you it before you probably seen it in the background and thought what's that shelf but it's like this lack shelf it's one of them floating ones you know so this it's got no brackets that you can see and I quite like that look you know um so I bought this one I think it was 12 pound but I will put the price on screen if it's you know any different but if, this is in like um a oak a whitewashed oak effect now I would have preferred like the uh, like it's just the oak effect but they didn't have it in um in the smaller shelves they did have it in this size but they didn't have it in the smaller shelves they do do it in black and they do do it in white as well so and different sizes there's an even bigger one than this one um but i think i thought it would be too big for this wall behind me because my um my thought process is to do like this wall because i've really got nothing really on it apart from that <laughs> it's a bit odd isn't it um we have took some things down you know and it's lovely at christmas when i put things up there and i thought you know i'm going to put some shelves up and put bits on the shelf so that's the plan um so when dear ever gets home from work i might make him do some diy we'll see we'll see <laughs> we'll see what kind of mood he is when he comes in but these are the smaller ones that's them there the lack these were nine pound these and do you know what? They're quite easy to hang. I mean, I'm guessing you wouldn't be able to put anything really heavy on them. But have a look at the, um, the fastening. It's just like, you know, you put some screws in and then it hooks on. A bit like a picture would. Um, so that's why I don't think it would take a lot of weight. But I mean, you could put a plant on or something like that. And they're not very big. I shall show you um, one with a plant on so you can get an idea. You know, if you were to put like... You probably will get a plant on and maybe it's like a little ornament as well. So, uh, yep. You can put them anywhere, can't you? Kitchen or up here. <laughs> um, so, yes, I've got a few of those. Um, that's what I got from Ikea. So, I'm going to move on and we'll go to One Bargains and I'll show you what I bought there. Now, I've had an eye on this last year, but I do have one. Um... But I thought, you know, this is really, really nice for the summer. So it's just got the, the lavender in. Can you see? It's really nice. And if I decide not to use it on my front door, I'll probably use it on out the back. You know, but it's a really, really pretty wreath. Um, so I picked this up and this was 9 .99. So I'm hoping to do some topiary balls like this. 
I'm sure I saw them last year, like some like Torbery balls. So I'll be on the lookout for them. $9.99 for that, guys. I also picked up this little guy. How cute is he? He's a um, little rubber ball. Can you see? So cute. But what I didn't realise is when I've gotten a dorm, it's got a chip in it. It's got like a little chip there. So, um, you know, and I think he's got a chip on his ear as well. So he was $5.99. So just double check them, guys, when you buy them, that there isn't any chips. You know what, um, but he's a like a lovely little um, rabbit, isn't he? And guys, I thought this would look lovely with these little eggs in. You know, can you imagine them? I picked up three, three packets of these little eggs. And I think they'll go out like lovely in the bowl. And I just put them beside the tea and coffee, you know, and you can just help yourself to them. So then just the milk chocolate eggs there. And I mean, my kids still, still like eggs. I still buy buy them easter eggs i mean i don't hide them anymore <laughs> i don't make them hunt for them but i've got paper now so <laughs> you can imagine uh, these were 69 pence for these eggs i do not i do not know how many you get in let me count them two four six that's six eight, uh, ten you get ten little eggs in there so not too bad at all so i bought that and I do have like a little rabbit teapot as well, which I picked up from the charity shop. And it was really, really cheap. I picked it up last year. So I think that'll go lovely beside like the, the little rabbit teapot. Okay, moving on. I picked up my usual bubble bath in this like lovely green colour. And this is only 99 pence. And David loves this one. So I mainly buy it for him. I do use it sometimes. I am okay with it, guys. Um because I've got sensitive skin, but I can use that bubble bath. Um, okay, moving on, I picked up, what else did I pick up? Oh, it's like a goodie, a goodie bag. <laughs> I picked up this cutlery. Now this is for Pippin. And this was really, really cheap. I think it was like one ninety nine, and you get the knife, fork and the spoon. Now I, re I remember getting these for my kids from Studio Catalog, but they were personalized. So um, very, very similar. I think I've still got my sons in the draw. Um, but yes, I thought those were really cute for one ninety nine. It's like a nice little gift, isn't it? So I bought them. I also picked up um, these body sprays as well. Now, I do believe that the dupes, I managed to pick up two. And it's this one here, which is the Daisy. So I think it's um, Mark Jacobs Daisy, you know, and um, there's this other one called Black Poppy, which I think is a kind of dupe for black opium. Um, okay, I'm going to give them a spray. It smells all right. And I'll give this one a little spray on this hand. Yeah, they're not bad. Not bad at all. But they're, they're not perfumes, guys. They're body sprays. So they were 99 pence each. I think there's another one as well. Um, but yeah, I'll be on the lookout for that one. And if I come across it, I'll certainly share it with you. Um, I also picked up this shampoo. Now, um, I do use the Raveno um, body lotion. And I do use the, the Parma's Cocoa cocoa butter one as well i like both you know i just change it up i just thought now do you know what i get whichever one's cheap between them two but um i've spotted the shampoo by Aveeno, and this one's the oat milk blend it's for dry and damaged hair so i've spotted that and i spotted the conditioner as well and i thought oh i'm definitely gonna um try i do believe that there's no parabens in it and um there's no SLS, you know, the sodium lauryl sulfate, which dries our air out, something chronic. Um, it smells quite nice, you know. Um, I can't wait to try it, actually. So uh, these were like £3.99 each. Now, you might think it's quite expensive for a shampoo, and I guess it is, you know. Um, but my hair's in a pretty poor condition, guys. So I don't mind, you know, paying the extra and to try and get it back into condition. Um, and I'm saying these are expensive. The three ninety nine in um, home bargains. And do you know what? I picked up another, another lot as well. 
I'll show you this one. This is fresh greens. Now this is a lovely like spring and summer scent and it's for fine hair because I do have fine hair as well. I've got dry damaged fine hair. So I've probably got the worst hair <laughs> that you can think of. So I picked up both the shampoo and conditioner again just to try and get my hair in a better condition. But it does smell really really fresh this one. Really a nice spring and summer fragrance. Um, again, no SLS, um, and yeah, I can't see, I can't see, I haven't got my glasses on, but um, I'm sure Emma told me that there was no SLS, because I haven't used shampoo with SLS in for a long, long time, but I did use the um, uh, shampoo bar, and although I did like it, and the simplicity of it, it really dried my hair out, and I'm not saying it was the bar, I, what what happened was I stopped using conditioner, you know, because I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you as it is. I just couldn't be bothered, guys. Um, so anyway, I've, I've not bought the shampoo bar. I did, re, you know, rebuy it, but I've decided to give these a go because I really like a Veno skin cream. And you can get a Veno for babies as well, you know. Um the flight really broadened out their you know product line so this this again was 3.99 but 3.99 is actually a good price because i picked up these these were on offer do you know what i bought these in cn sprays <coughs> and um and i was like oh that's a good price they were four pound fifty they'd been reduced to, to like four pound fifty I mean, this is a beautiful smell as well. This is rose water and chamomile. You can really smell the rose in it as well, but it's not overpowering. It's just really, really nice. Um, so I picked up this one. This is for dry hair as well. You know, so I picked up the shampoo and the conditioner. £4.50. So, of course, when I was went in Home Bargains and I saw Home Bargains add them in for £3.99, I was definitely going to pick them up. But that's a beautiful, beautiful smell. If you like rose, you know, it's a very, very um, light um, rose smell. And as I say, I'm not overpowering at all. And um, for dry hair. They didn't have this one in, in the home bargains. I don't know whether they had it in and they'd sold out because there was an empty space. But yeah, really, really nice. Um, I picked up this as well. This like bunny jar. It's a, can you say, you could put your tea bags in, you could put your biscuits in, any like little treats, sweets, whatever. Um, I just think it's adorable with the little bunny ears. And can you see on here, you could get the blue and the pink ones as well. But I picked the lemon because I just thought, like I do love lemon and yellow. It's, it's such a happy colour, you know, and um, like in this weather, not so much today because it's beautiful out there. But, you know, in the in the darker months and that and in the spring, because spring's still, like, dark, isn't it? It's still, like, we still have dark um, days in the spring. It's just, like, a little pop of colour to, to like, make you feel better. <laughs> so this was, um, this was seven ninety nine for this little jar. I picked up these with the velvet hangers. I absolutely love these hangers because your clothes don't fall off and you can cut, you know, a I don't know if this dress has got them on. You know them like tags, but um, what you tie around the hanger to keep them on. You can actually cut those off because I've I'm guilty of it, guys. Where the tags like you know them long strings and you can see them and it doesn't look very nice, does it? Um, I really need to get round to cutting them off my clothes. But these I picked them up. It was a twenty five pack, and these were only um six ninety nine for twenty five, which I thought was really good because I normally pay. I don't normally pay her. Maybe two two ninety nine, three three pound, three ninety nine. But you only get ten, so yeah. I thought they they were worth buying twenty five. Um, I mean sometimes they do snap, guys. I'm not gonna lie, they do snap if you put like something heavy on, like a coat. Um, but yeah, I do like them because your clothes doesn't slip off it at all. Um, moving on, I picked up. Oh, yes, I picked up this little foot mask. Um, yeah, my feet is, yeah. I've just, I've really, really lapsed, guys. I'm like this in the winter, you know. I really, like, don't um, take enough time, like, for myself. Um, 
you know, and like I should have like weekly, at least weekly pamper sessions where I use a foot mask, a hair mask and things like that. But um, I just haven't had the time. Um, anyway, this is just the one treatment, you know, the like little booties that you put on. And it's nice to put this on at the end of the week, you know, because I do take more care of like, myself in the in the summer for odd reason, <laughs> you know. Um, but yes, these are like really nice for a little pamper session, you know. They're really nice to just like pop on your feet when you're watching the TV as well. You know, have a nice cup of coffee, some biscuits and put pop these on as well while you're sitting watching maybe some programme. Um, or some YouTube or whatever. But they're only like 99 pence, so de definitely affordable. A little like pick-me-up treat. Um, moving on, I picked up this. It's, it was in the uh, party section and it's a candelabra cake topper. And look at that. I just thought that, that would be really nice when it's like sort of Emma's birthday um, or my other daughter's and I make a cake and pop that on the top. So I bought that. I, I, this was only cheap. I think it was like $1.99. Um, it wasn't very much at all. And I picked up the, the 12 candles as well. I can't remember how much these were, but I think these might have only been like 99 pence. They weren't much. Um, I also picked up this. Like little, oops, <laughs> little pin cushion. It's like a little ditzy flower on it and a button in the center you see you can pop it on your wrist as well so um you know when you're sewing it's quite handy to have on your wrist for your pins you know when you're taking them out you can stick them in there um i don't tend to use pins that much when i saw yeah when i um was training you you didn't pin your f pin pieces together fabric pieces you just had to you know learn how to do it without doing that there was no time for pinning um but yes anyway i bought that it was only one pound 29 because i do want to do more sewing you know i do want to get back into to sewing and i think when um, emma and jamie do move out and um the house becomes a lot less um because i mean we've got all of their stuff here um well quite a lot of their stuff i think we'll have more room to sort of breathe you know and reorganize and hopefully i'll be able to pull my sewing machine out from the cupboard you know and um and actually do some projects because i really really miss not sewing i'm not saying i would like to do it for a living again you know because um I, I don't think i would like to do it for a living but as a hobby most definitely i've been sewing and making clothes from the age 13 when my mum i asked my mum for a sewing machine for my 13th birthday i've actually still got that machine and it still works and uh, it's a brilliant machine it's a singer and um, i would really really like to you know start and sew again and especially making things for the baby as well that would be great um so yes, <laughs> a bit there. Uh, I've gone off on a bit of a ramble, haven't I? But anyway, one pound twenty nine for that. So I thought that was quite good. They do have a few nice, like little bits in their haberdashery section. Um, I picked up this as well. This is just the moisturising hand soap. I really like this one, the Imperial Leather. Mind, I could never use the soap. You know, when I was younger, it brought me out something terrible. I did use like picking that sticker off well it's not a sticker you know the little imperial leather sign in the centre <laughs> it's like picking that off it this is just again a really really light scent it's in the scent of almond oil and vitamin E so I picked that one up oh quite interesting find I picked up these now I've got like little bins in, um, in, in the bathrooms and in the utility and I really don't like using plastic you know the plastic bin liners because they're not eco-friendly at all but i found these ones the bio waste bags or the biodegradable and um yeah the 10 for 10 liter bins which is perfect and yeah they're, they're going to do the job look at them they're really really good and um, these were only like i think they were 99 pence uh, i'm just going to open them and show you them That's them there. You see them? It's tearing off. It's got perforation there. Oh, so they tear off really well. And yeah, 
you know, to line your bathroom bins. I'm not saying they're going to be strong, but for that purpose, you know, your bathroom bins, by you're not putting heavy things in, that's them there. So that is my, I would say, between these bags, I haven't finished the haul yet, <laughs> but so far between them bags and the little bunny jar, my, it's probably my favourite items, you know, so far. Although I do like all of my items that I've picked up, but yeah, I'm really excited about them bags and um, being eco-friendly. I also picked up these guys. And it's just like these lovely little picks. I'm always on the lookout for picks. I do have like a floral, um, like a craft cupboardy thing. Um, <laughs> actually, it's more than one cupboard. Craft cupboards <laughs> in the um, in the garage. So I thought um, I might be able to get in the craft cupboard one day because <laughs> there's all the stones in there. Um, so these are like just a lovely little pick of little Easter eggs. And there's quite a few on there, eh, guys? And I thought what would be nice is, you know, to pop some, like, flowers on here as well. Just to give it a bit more decoration. Um, I picked up two of them. Then. And these are only 2 49 each. So I thought that was, like, quite a big pick for 2 49 Oops! I'll have to get the hot glue gun out and glue that one on. <laughs> But yeah, not bad at all for like two forty nine. I'll just pop those there. Moving on, I picked up the Himalayan bath salts. I always buy these ones. I buy the West Lab, and they're two pound. I think they're two pound forty nine, and you get um. What do you get in them? One kilogram. So one kilogram and it looks really nice because I've got like the apocryphy jars. So it's not just like um, a practical item. It's like decorative as well in a way because I've got the apocryphy jars and I did get one from um, the range and I've got another one from Home Bargains and I put the salts in and they look nice. So I've got like the pinkish coloured salts in one and that's like the taller one and in the more squat one I've got the white um these ones here the white bath salts now I normally get the Epsom salts but um David said he wanted to try these ones they're the soothing dead sea salts um and it says it nourishes dry and irritated skin so these would actually be really really good for me um it says suitable for use on skin prone to eczema and psoriasis so um, I'm definitely going to give these ones a go. Um, yeah, you just put one to two cups for dry, itchy skin. And you relax and enjoy for at least 20 minutes. So you can stay in as long as you like. But 20 minutes it recommends. So if you've got any sort of like... And I think they'd just be relaxing, you know. So there were 2 49 each for these. Okay. I'm just looking around, guys, to see if I've got anything else from Home Bargains. Um, I don't think I have, but I'm going to show you what um, I picked up from Marxies when I was in there. So I picked up this. It's a fragranced... Um, what is it? Bath salts. <laughs> Cranky, I couldn't see. Um, it's fragranced bath salts. And it's this. Oh, you can't see because the label's on. I'm just going to try and peel the label back so you can actually see it properly it was reduced that's it that's it it's restore now i've got a few things in this color in my bathroom like the amber glass um so i think i think it would look nice in the bathroom as well like i say it's decor but obviously it's got a use as well but you can easily refill this up you know and keep it for decor um it's restore apocryphy fragranced with geranium cedar wood eucalyptus and lavender and that's it there it's from marks and spencers it was seven pound fifty originally and it had been reduced to six pound and it was like in the MS beauty section so i'm just gonna um oh but i'm gonna have a little smell and tell you what i think of it <clears throat> oh you can smell the geranium definitely smell the geranium Yeah, not bad at all. Not not too strong. Very subtle fragrance. So yes, I look forward to using those. So I picked those up. 
And I picked this up as well. Um, this one was £12.50 and it was reduced to £8.50. And it's the Fragrance Society. Now, do you know what? Um, drew me to this bottle. It looked like a bottle of gin. It looks like the uh, Whitney Nails, is it? The Whit Whitley? Whitley Nails? Whit I think it's Whitley Nails. <laughs> uh, the bottle of gin. Like the shape of it. And I was like, wow, that looks like a bottle of gin. And when I looked, it's um, it's actually Bubble Bath, Bath Alexa. Um, it's in winter pear, nutmeg and cinnamon. So quite like a wintry fragrance. Again, I haven't opened this. Let's show you open it and let's have a little sniff of it. I mean, I know you can't smell it, but at least I can tell you if it's strong or, you know, if the, what comes across in it. Oh. You can, it's, do you know what? You can barely smell it. It's so light in fragrance. Um, but yes, you can definitely smell the pear. Um, so yes, not overpowering at all. So if you want to have like a real bubble bath experience, but you don't really want the fragrance, you know, I would say it's a nice, yeah, nice. So I don't know if you can see, it's got like gold in it. Can you see the gold luster? There. Just thought it would be nice to try, or at least David did. Um, Cause David loves these bubble baths. Talking about like it looking like a bottle of gin. I was in Asta uh, yesterday, and they had um, these bottles, and it looked like it was wine. Actually, it was bottles of wine. But I looked at it and I thought it looks like a bottle of bubble bath. I can't remember what the brand was, but it was in the wine section. And honestly, it looked the bottle looked like a bottle of bubble bath. It was quite like whoa, <laughs> you know. I remember like the Paul Masson wines that came in like a carafe. It was like a carafe. And uh, oh, years ago, um, I was keeping them, and th they were lovely, like little vases. You know, they made lovely little vases. And I remember I sprayed some silf some stone silver, popped them in the bottom, and put some flowers in. And crikey, I'm going back to the early nineties. You know, um, but they were lovely little vases. I don't even know if you can get them carafe type of bottles, but they were definitely worth because it was a bonus. You got like to drink the wine, and then you you had the uh, bottle as well afterwards to turn into a vase. <laughs> so, guys, again, thank you for joining me. I hope you join me in the next video. But until then, I hope you all stay safe, um, and I hope you all have a lovely rest of the week. But I shall see you soon. Bye bye.